What is ceramic capacitors and how does it function? Ceramic capacitors are a type of capacitor that uses ceramic materials as the dielectric, the insulating layer between the two conductive plates. They are widely used in electronic circuits due to their small size, stability, and reliability. Here's how ceramic capacitors function. The dielectric material in a capacitor is an insulating substance placed between the two plates, or electrodes, of the capacitor. Its primary function is to store electrical energy by permitting the buildup of an electric field between the plates without allowing significant current flow between them. Here's more detail on dielectric materials. Role. Dielectric materials serve as an electrical insulator, preventing the flow of current between the capacitor plates while allowing the storage of electric charge in the form of an electric field. Properties. Ideal dielectric materials exhibit high electrical resistivity, low dielectric loss, minimal energy dissipation as heat, and high dielectric strength, ability to withstand high voltages without breakdown. Types. Dielectric materials vary widely in their composition and properties. Common dielectric materials include ceramics. Ceramic materials like barium titanate, titanium dioxide, and others are widely used in ceramic capacitors due to their high dielectric constants and stability. Polymers. Polymer-based dielectrics, such as polyethylene, polyester, and polycarbonate, are often used in film capacitors for their flexibility and self-healing properties. Electrolytes. Electrolytic capacitors use electrolytes, conducting liquids, or gels, as dielectric materials, enabling high capacitance values in small packages. Oxides. Metal oxide materials, such as tantalum pentoxide and tantalum capacitors, provide high capacitance density and stability. Glass. Glass-based dielectrics are used in specialized capacitors for high temperature and high frequency applications due to their excellent thermal and electrical properties. Dielectric constant. The dielectric constant, also known as relative permittivity, of a material determines its ability to store electrical energy. It represents the ratio of the capacitance of a capacitor with that material as the dielectric to the capacitance of the same capacitor with a vacuum or air as the dielectric. Materials with higher dielectric constants can store more charge for a given voltage. Dielectric strength. Dielectric strength is the maximum electric field a dielectric material can withstand without experiencing electrical breakdown, such as arcing or insulation failure. It's an important parameter for determining the voltage rating of capacitors. Dielectric materials play a crucial role in determining the performance, capacitance, voltage rating, and temperature stability of capacitors. Different applications require capacitors with specific dielectric properties to meet the requirements for voltage handling, frequency response, size constraints, and environmental conditions. The construction of a capacitor refers to its physical design and arrangement of components. While there are various types of capacitors, they generally share similar construction principles, differing mainly in materials and manufacturing techniques. Here's an overview of the typical construction of a capacitor. Electrodes or plates. Capacitors consist of two conductive plates, typically made of metal, that serve as terminals for the device. One plate is connected to the positive terminal of the circuit, while the other is connected to the negative terminal. Dielectric material. The dielectric material, which serves as the insulating layer between the plates, is placed between the electrodes. The dielectric material can be made of various substances, such as ceramic, polymer film, electrolyte, or oxide layer, depending on the type of capacitor. Separator. In some capacitors, especially those with electrolyte-based dielectrics, a separator material is used to prevent direct contact between the electrodes. The separator enhances the capacitor's performance and prevents short circuits. Encapsulation. The electrodes and dielectric material are encapsulated within a protective casing or housing. The casing is typically made of materials like plastic, ceramic, or metal, providing mechanical support and insulation for the internal components. Lead wires or terminals. Lead wires or terminals are attached to the electrodes to provide external connections for the capacitor. These leads allow the capacitor to be connected to other components in the circuit. Markings. Capacitors often have markings or labels indicating their capacitance value, voltage rating, tolerance, and sometimes polarity. These markings help users identify and correctly use capacitors in electronic circuits. Configuration. 
Capacitors can be configured in various shapes and sizes, depending on the specific application requirements. Common configurations include cylindrical, radial or axial leads, rectangular, surface mount, and disc-shaped for high-voltage applications. Manufacturing processes. Capacitors are manufactured using processes such as winding, for film and electrolytic capacitors, sintering, for ceramic capacitors, or etching, for metallized film capacitors. These manufacturing techniques ensure precise construction and consistent performance of capacitors. Overall, the construction of a capacitor is designed to maximize capacitance while ensuring electrical insulation and mechanical integrity. Capacitors are available in a wide range of sizes, capacitance values, voltage ratings, and temperature tolerances to suit various electronic applications. Capacitance is a fundamental property of capacitors and refers to the ability of a capacitor to store electric charge when a voltage difference exists across its terminals. It is measured in units called farads, F. Here's a detailed explanation of capacitance. Definition. Capacitance. C is defined as the ratio of the electric charge. Q stored on one of the capacitor's plates to the voltage. V applied across the capacitor. Equals. C equals o. Q. Physical interpretation. Capacitance represents the ability of a capacitor to store electric charge for a given voltage. It reflects how much charge can be accumulated on the capacitor plates per unit voltage. A capacitor with a higher capacitance can store more charge for the same voltage compared to a capacitor with lower capacitance. Formula for capacitance. The capacitance of a capacitor depends on its physical properties, such as the area of the plates. A. The distance between the plates. D. And the permittivity of the dielectric material. Epsilon. Equals. C equals D. Epsilon. In the case of parallel plate capacitors, where the plates are flat and parallel to each other, this formula is particularly applicable. Factors affecting capacitance. Plate area. A increasing the area of the plates increases capacitance because there is more surface area available for charge accumulation. Plate separation. D. Decreasing the distance between the plates increases capacitance because it reduces the distance that the electric field must act across. Dielectric material. Epsilon the dielectric constant. Epsilon of the material between the plates affects capacitance. Materials with higher dielectric constants increase capacitance. Units of capacitance. The standard unit of capacitance is the farad, F, named after the physicist Michael Faraday. Capacitors typically have capacitance values measured in farads, F, but often smaller units like microfarads, mu F, nanofarads, NF, and picofarads, PF, are used due to the wide range of capacitance values encountered in electronics. Practical considerations. Capacitors in practical applications often have capacitance values ranging from picofarads to millifarads. Capacitance tolerance indicates the allowable deviation from the nominal capacitance value and is typically expressed as a percentage. Capacitors with higher capacitance values tend to be physically larger due to the need for larger plates or increased dielectric material. Understanding capacitance is crucial for designing circuits where capacitors are used for energy storage, filtering, timing, and signal coupling applications. Charge storage is a fundamental function of capacitors, where electric charge is accumulated and stored within the capacitor structure when a voltage is applied across its terminals. Here's a detailed explanation of charge storage in capacitors. Principle. Capacitors consist of two conductive plates separated by an insulating material known as the dielectric. When a voltage is applied across the terminals of the capacitor, an electric field is established within the dielectric material. Charge accumulation. As a result of the applied voltage, positive and negative charges accumulate on the two plates of the capacitor. The positive plate accumulates positive charge, plus, plus Q, while the negative plate accumulates an equal amount of negative charge, minus, minus Q. The magnitude of the charge on each plate is directly proportional to the applied voltage and the capacitance of the capacitor. Stored energy. The accumulation of charge on the capacitor plates results in the storage of electrical energy within the capacitor. The energy stored, W, in a capacitor can be calculated using the formula. Equals 1, 2, 2. Vruvnashe. 2, 1, 
to V, to where. C is the capacitance of the capacitor. V is the voltage across the capacitor. Discharge and release. When the voltage across the capacitor is removed or the circuit is opened, the stored electric charge remains on the capacitor plates. This stored charge can be released when the capacitor is connected to a circuit, allowing it to discharge and provide electrical energy to the circuit. Applications Charge storage in capacitors enables various applications in electronic circuits, such as energy storage in power supply circuits, allowing for smooth and regulated voltage output. Timing circuits, where capacitors are used in conjunction with resistors to create precise timing intervals. Filtering circuits, where capacitors remove unwanted AC signals or noise from a signal. Capacitance and charge storage. The amount of charge stored in a capacitor, Q, is directly proportional to its capacitance, C, and the voltage, V, applied across it, is given by the formula, equals, Q equals CV. A capacitor with higher capacitance can store more charge for a given voltage compared to a capacitor with lower capacitance. Understanding charge storage in capacitors is essential for designing circuits where capacitors are used for energy storage, signal processing, and timing applications. It forms the basis of many electronic devices and systems used in various industries. The functionality of capacitors is multifaceted and fundamental to many electronic circuits. Capacitors serve several key functions in electronics, including energy storage. Capacitors store electrical energy in the form of an electric field between their plates when a voltage is applied across them. This stored energy can be quickly released when needed, making capacitors useful for providing short bursts of power in various applications. Filtering and smoothing. Capacitors are commonly used in power supply circuits to filter out unwanted noise and fluctuations in voltage. By charging and discharging in response to changes in voltage, capacitors can stabilize and smooth out the output voltage, ensuring a more consistent power supply. Timing and signal processing. Capacitors, in combination with resistors, can be used to create timing circuits in applications such as oscillators, pulse generators, and timers. They can also be employed in signal processing circuits to block or pass certain frequencies, shaping the waveform of electrical signals. Coupling and decoupling. Capacitors serve as coupling elements in circuits by allowing AC signals to pass while blocking DC signals. This enables the transmission of AC signals between different stages of a circuit while isolating DC levels. Additionally, capacitors are used for decoupling, where they provide a low impedance path to ground for high frequency noise, preventing it from affecting sensitive components in the circuit. Voltage regulation and compensation. Capacitors are often utilized in voltage regulation circuits to maintain stable voltage levels across loads or during transient events. They can also be employed in compensation networks to improve the stability and performance of amplifiers, oscillators, and other electronic systems. Sensor applications. Capacitors can be used as sensing elements in various types of sensors, such as capacitive sensors, where changes in capacitance are used to detect proximity, pressure, humidity, or other environmental factors. Energy conversion and power factor correction. Capacitors play a role in energy conversion applications, such as in inverters and converters, where they store and release energy to convert between different forms of electrical power. They are also used in power factor correction circuits to improve the efficiency of electrical systems by adjusting the phase relationship between voltage and current. Overall, the functionality of capacitors is diverse and essential across a wide range of electronic devices and systems. Their ability to store and manipulate electrical energy makes them indispensable components in modern electronics, enabling the efficient operation of circuits and facilitating various functions and applications. Ceramic capacitors are a popular type of capacitor known for their small size, reliability, and stability. They are widely used in various electronic circuits due to their versatility and cost-effectiveness. Ceramic capacitors can be classified into several types based on their construction, materials, and intended applications. Here are some common types of ceramic capacitors. Class 1 Ceramic Capacitors Class 1 Ceramic Capacitors are characterized by their high stability, low losses, and low temperature coefficients. They are ideal for applications requiring precise capacitance values that do not change significantly with temperature, voltage, 
or frequency. Types of Class 1 ceramic capacitors include NP0-C0G capacitors. These capacitors use a ceramic dielectric material with a near-zero temperature coefficient of capacitance, Tc. They offer excellent stability over a wide range of temperatures and frequencies, making them suitable for critical timing, tuning, and filter circuits. X7R and X5 are capacitors. These capacitors use a ceramic dielectric material with moderate temperature coefficients. They offer higher capacitance density compared to NP0-C0G capacitors but have a limited temperature stability range. They are commonly used in decoupling, bypassing, and filtering applications. Class II Ceramic Capacitors Class II ceramic capacitors offer higher capacitance values compared to Class I capacitors but may exhibit larger variations in capacitance with temperature, voltage, and frequency. Types of Class II ceramic capacitors include Y5V and Z5U capacitors. These capacitors use a ceramic dielectric material with a high dielectric constant, allowing for higher capacitance values in smaller packages. However, they have significant variations in capacitance with temperature and voltage, making them unsuitable for precision applications. They are commonly used in bulk decoupling, coupling, and general purpose applications. X7T, X7S, and X7P capacitors. These capacitors offer improved stability compared to Y5V and Z5U capacitors, with lower capacitance variations over temperature and voltage. They provide higher capacitance density and are suitable for applications requiring moderate stability and capacitance values. Specialty Ceramic Capacitors In addition to the standard Class I and Class II ceramic capacitors, there are specialty ceramic capacitors designed for specific applications or requirements. High Voltage Ceramic Capacitors These capacitors are designed to withstand higher voltage levels and are used in power supplies, voltage multiplier circuits, and other high voltage applications. Safety Capacitors These capacitors have special safety features to meet regulatory standards for applications involving mains voltage or safety critical circuits. Feed Through Capacitors These capacitors are designed for high frequency filtering and noise suppression in RF and microwave circuits featuring low impedance at high frequencies. These are some of the common types of ceramic capacitors used in electronic circuits. Selecting the appropriate type depends on factors such as capacitance value, stability requirements, temperature characteristics, voltage ratings, and intended application. Ceramic capacitors offer several advantages that make them popular choices in electronic circuits. These advantages include small size, Ceramic capacitors have a high capacitance density, meaning they can store a relatively large amount of charge in a small physical size. This compactness makes them ideal for applications where space is limited or miniaturization is required. High capacitance values. Ceramic capacitors are available in a wide range of capacitance values, from picofarads to microfarads. This versatility allows designers to select capacitors with the appropriate capacitance for their specific circuit requirements. Low Equivalent Series Resistance ESR ceramic capacitors typically have low ESR, which means they have minimal internal resistance. This characteristic allows them to charge and discharge quickly, making them suitable for applications requiring fast response times. Low Leakage Current Ceramic capacitors exhibit low leakage current, meaning they retain their stored charge effectively over time. This feature is advantageous in applications where energy storage or signal retention is critical. Wide Operating Temperature Range Ceramic capacitors can operate over a wide temperature range, typically from minus 55 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius or higher, depending on the capacitor's construction and materials. This makes them suitable for use in harsh environmental conditions and extreme temperatures. High Stability Class I ceramic capacitors, such as NP0-C0G capacitors, offer excellent stability over temperature, voltage, and frequency variations. They maintain consistent capacitance values across a wide range of operating conditions, making them suitable for precision applications. Low cost. Ceramic capacitors are cost-effective compared to many other types of capacitors, making them attractive for high-volume production and cost-sensitive applications. Wide Frequency Response Ceramic capacitors have a wide frequency response, allowing them to perform effectively in both low-frequency and high-frequency circuits. 
This versatility makes them suitable for a broad range of applications, including audio, RF, and digital circuits. Rose Compliance Many ceramic capacitors are rose, restriction of hazardous substances, compliant, meaning they do not contain hazardous materials such as lead, mercury, cadmium, or chromium. This compliance aligns with environmental regulations and industry standards. Overall, the advantages of ceramic capacitors, including their small size, high capacitance values, low ESR, stability, and cost-effectiveness, make them indispensable components in a wide range of electronic devices and systems. While ceramic capacitors offer many advantages, they also have some limitations and disadvantages that should be considered in electronic circuit design. These disadvantages include Piezoelectric effect. Ceramic capacitors can exhibit piezoelectric properties, meaning they generate a voltage when subjected to mechanical stress or vibration. This effect can introduce unwanted noise or interference in sensitive circuits. Microphonic effect. Similar to the piezoelectric effect, ceramic capacitors may also produce electrical signals in response to mechanical vibrations, such as those caused by acoustic or mechanical disturbances. This can lead to signal distortion or instability in audio or precision circuits. Voltage dependence. Some types of ceramic capacitors, particularly class II capacitors like Y5V and Z5U, have a significant voltage dependence, meaning their capacitance value can vary substantially with applied voltage. This voltage coefficient can result in unpredictable performance in certain applications. Temperature stability. While class I ceramic capacitors, e.g., NP0-C0G offer excellent temperature stability, Class II ceramic capacitors, e.g., X7R, X5R, may exhibit temperature-dependent capacitance variations. This can limit their suitability for precision applications over a wide temperature range. DC bias characteristics, ceramic capacitors, especially Class II capacitors, may experience a phenomenon known as DC bias effect where the capacitance decreases as the DC voltage across the capacitor increases. This behavior can impact circuit performance and stability in applications with varying DC voltages. Limited voltage ratings. Ceramic capacitors typically have lower voltage ratings compared to other capacitor types like electrolytic capacitors or film capacitors. This limitation may restrict their use in high voltage applications where higher voltage ratings are required. Risk of cracking. Ceramic capacitors are relatively brittle compared to other capacitor types. They may be prone to mechanical stress or thermal shock, leading to the risk of cracking or failure, especially during soldering or assembly processes. Limited capacitance range. While ceramic capacitors offer a wide range of capacitance values, they may not be suitable for applications requiring extremely high capacitance values, e.g., ultracapacitors, or very low capacitance values, e.g., Picofarads. Despite these disadvantages, ceramic capacitors remain widely used in many electronic applications due to their small size, high capacitance density, low cost, and versatility. However, careful consideration of these limitations is necessary to ensure optimal performance and reliability in circuit designs.